Hello, hello, hello. Wait for people to come in. Hey, Dems. Hey. I told y'all I was going to be coming on here on Sundays. I only got an hour with y'all today because I got something to do, but I'm trying to make my... I'm trying to be a woman of my word. Try to be one of my word. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Stuck. Was it Stucky? Hey. Hey, Dana. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Deidre. All these D's. Go ahead and shout out where you're from, and I can shout you out. Let me just get everything on this computer. I don't know why it's not popping up. Not popping up on my computer. What's going on with YouTube, y'all? I put all my links below the video. Real quick. Oh, it is. Here it is. Why is that over here? And there we go. Okay, let me just put the links on the video real quick. And I'll be right with y'all. Everybody. Oh, sorry. Give me one second. Hey from Chicago. Hey T Tina is it Tiana from Chicago. Y'all need glasses bad. I need glasses. Hey um Dawn from Michigan. Hey Sonya from North Carolina. Hey Vicky from Virginia. First time seeing you live. Oh thank you for joining me. Hey um Cynthia from SC South Carolina. Hold on y'all. Let me get this stuff so y'all can have all the links below this video. My name is Charmaine. This is your first time coming on. If it's not your first time, thanks for rocking with me. If this is your first time, thanks for joining me today. Hey, Jackie from California. Yeah, I just came from California. Hey, hey Crestable things, 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 things. The things are things. Hey. Let me go ahead. I'm, I'm going to be, um, today. I'm going to be, uh, sorry. I'm going to be trying to do a patch, y'all. I've only got one hour with y'all. Y'all know when I get on this live, I'll be on here forever. But as soon as I got something to do tonight, so... I'm going to be give y'all at least an hour. It's 7 o'clock now. Yeah, about 7, 7, 8, 8.30. Um, I got to go. How was y'all Sunday? Church was awesome today. I still a little dressed up today from church, so I had to come on here because I was kind of cute. So let me come on when I'm dressed and ready to get on this live for y'all. Um, let me see. Hey, Precious. Hey, let's see who else is on here. I need, I need to get my glasses, y'all. I don't know. Every time I get on line, every time I get on line, I'm like, oh my God, I can't see. I should have got my glasses before I got, oh, got here. Uh, let's see one. So what's been going on, y'all? How everybody's week been? How was y'all Halloween? My son went to the honey house. I couldn't do it, y'all. I was too scared, so my brother went with him. But um, we went to go see this other this movie, this scary movie, Saw Five or something like that, or whatever. Saw something, and I was scared too. I was screaming the whole time. The mind is so embarrassing. Well, son, I am. I hate scary movies. So it is what it is. So uh, he love he tree he thirteen. So he just his his favorite um holiday is Halloween. So I had to help you know show out for him this year because he's not he don't have his family here for real. So I had to go to the movie with him. Into a hundred house, he still went. There. He still went trick or treating with his um, co like play cousins. Okay, so I got everything set, y'all. Okay, please check out my links below. I have my Etsy page below, which is Charming Girl Boutique. I have my um, Array of Sunshine, my Children Boutique below. Also have a lot of different um links down here. Basically, you can get a lot of discounts from Canva, um, Recoma. If you're into Recoma, the embroidery machines, the printer. I have he puts nation links down here below. I have designs by Mare. She got some really nice African American designs. Check her out. Um, Creative Fabricas links down there. Check them out. You get good discounts on that too. So check out my discounts, y'all. My links below. Mighty Who, Mighty Who, all kinds of stuff down there, y'all. Also, the supplies that I'll be using with this video is gonna be below too. So we're gonna be embroidering a patch. We're gonna start with a patch. Hey, Linda from Florida. Hey, Precious from Chicago. She uh, Sheila from the Bay Area. Um, 
I don't like scary movies. No, I don't. I hate them. I, I mean, the whole time I was closing my eyes. But Saw, it was an okay movie. It went off for the blood. I ain't trying to see all that blood. But other than that, it was okay. It was kind of slow in the beginning. But, um, it was alright. But So, um, I'm going to start off from the beginning. Usually I just show y'all my little clips of my embroidery. But I'm going to show y'all how I basically hoop the hoop. With my stabilizer and the stuff that I use. I use the duck fabric. Oh, I'm on time. I'm on point, y'all. Because last week I was just all over the place. I didn't know what I was using. I remember I forgot all the words to everything, all the names to everything. I was like, what is this, y'all? What is it? So it's like, I be forgetting. I thought I'm not online. I forget a lot of stuff when I'm gone for a long time. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my hoop. Okay. I'm going to be using this five by seven hoop and I'm going to be using my um Innovis Brothers NQ 1600E. It's a brother's machine. It's basically that's the one that has the five by seven hoop. It also has the um six by nine hoop. Let me show y'all. This is the six by nine hoop. So if you want to start off with a machine without getting the six needles, that's a good that's a good machine to start with. It's a brothers. And um it comes this is the biggest hoop it comes. With. So basically, if you want to do a big shirt, like a, a 4X, it'll be okay. Not a 4X, because it's kind of, it's going to be small for a 4X. If you want to get into like 3X and then 4X, you want to get this, you know, machine. But this right here, you can turn it this way, or you can turn it this way. But it's, you know, see how narrow it still is. And you can't, ha you can't really have a big, big design. But you can have some words, nice little things, you know, little phrases or something there. You can embroider. Um, I'm, I'm doing classes now. I do got some classes lined up. To do embroidery, I do it online, or you can cut, you can meet me. I, I'm in Arizona now, so I do online classes and one-on-one -on -one classes. So I do have a couple of them lined up. So thank y'all for y'all support. Thank y'all for wanting to let me try, you know, um, do a one-on-one -on -one with y'all with my classes. So I appreciate y'all. So this is a five by seven, and this is a six by nine. I'm going to be doing a five by seven patch today. I got some orders. I got like five or six patches I got to do. But I'm going to start on one today with, with this video because I needed to come on a video. I told y'all I was going to come on Sunday so I had to do something because I told y'all I was going to be coming on every Sunday to do a video. And I'm trying to stay be on my word and try to be here on Sunday. If not on Sunday, it would definitely be on Monday because I'm off on Sundays and Mondays. So, those are my days off. So, I'm going to show y'all this patch I just did. It's gonna be, this is the same patch I'm doing. This is the five. This is a four by four though. Okay, this is the side of the side by four by four look. I'm gonna be doing a five by five today. So this is I just didn't cut it out. No, I did. This is the duck fabric, and this is the um the um I just said it. What is it? The um <laughs> stabilizer, stabilizer. Okay, so I get my stabilizer in rolls. You can get this. I, I get it off of Amazon. Everything below the is um is linked below. Stabilizer I use. Everything I use is below. Okay. Even my machines, I think, is down there, too. No, my machine's not down there. Why did I put the machines down there? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, it's down there. Well, my, my brother, PE800, is down there. But the reason why I didn't put that machine that I'm using, because I didn't get that from Amazon. I got that from a, a local store, a local sewing store in my in my area. Okay. So let me show y'all how to hoop this, um, hoop this hoop. So what I do is I just, let me see if I can bring this down without it falling. Oh, it's gonna fall. My phone is heavier than the dang on um, thing. And y'all, my phone about to go dead. So that's why I say I really can't be on here that long anyway, because my phone about to go dead. I didn't charge my phone. And I can't show y'all how to do this. Let me show you. I'm gonna have to do it like this. I can't put my phone down because it's plugged in. So I can't lay it on my on my computer because it's plugged in. I just came all prepared, didn't I, y'all? I can't lean it down too far on my little stand because it's gonna flip over. The phone is heavier than the stand, you know, than the um thing. So I'm gonna just basically hoop it and show y'all how it looks from the. I'm make sure it don't fall off the. Kind of wobbly. So, I just what I just do is I just cut the um stabilizer a little bit bigger than the um hoop, just about this much, so it can go on the outside of the hoop. Sorry, I can't show y'all how it looks on the on the table, y'all. Cause my phone is not charged and I can't set it on my computer like I usually do so you can see it in my little thing that I have. It's so cheap. I got it from $5 store. 
I can't um, let my phone flip off of it. So I'm gonna basically take the hoop. Basically, this is how it looks like this. Take it apart like this. You basically put the stabilizer in the middle like a sandwich and then you put it in here just like that. Okay, that's how you do it. Who has an embroidery machine? Let me see your thumbs up if you have an embroidery machine. You just basically push it down in here. Put my phone on fall, y'all. I gotta give me another tripod. I got right now I'm using a desk tripod. You see, I can remember what the, what the name of it was. A tripod. Um, I'm using a dead tripod, and if I bring my phone down, it'll make the tripod flip over and my phone will fall. So that's really inconvenient. So I got to get me one of them tall. I lift all my stuff. So I got to get a tall tripod so I can be able to show y'all what I'm doing on the table. So it's coming. It's, it's, I'm in the making, y'all. I just moved. So give me a, give me some time to get together. So here it is right here. And then you get, like, they have, like, a little screwdriver. You can just turn it and twist it or whatever. Mine's tight enough. You can use your hands, too. So it's tight enough. As long as you hear that, that sound, you good, okay? Like a drum sound. I use duct fabric, and I have like a little um, template that I use to cut my sizes. So this is for a five by seven, so I already cut it. It don't have to be neat. It don't have to be cut neat, because it ain't. But as long as it fits in here like this, as long as it fits your whole hoop, you're good. And that's it, that's how you hoop your stabilizer to your um, hoop, okay? Let's go over here to the machine. Okay. This is my machine. This is the um, NQ1600E. And I'll show y'all a little closer how it looks after I put them get them together. Because I can't hold my phone in my hand. So I just don't want to, um, I'm going to take it off in a minute after I get everything situated. Okay. So I slide it in here just like that. Slide it in. Snap it down. Boom. Okay, I can, I can go ahead and hold my phone now. Let me show y'all how it looks. A little bit closer if y'all never seen it. I have so many videos on um, YouTube, though, of how to do all this stuff. So you can check out my old videos, too, to give you details of how to um, do everything that I'm doing today. Sorry. Okay, so here's the um, design I'm going to be doing right here. It's pretty a little lady. She got her little dress. But you see these colors on here? You don't have to have, you don't have to use those colors. You can use whatever colors you want when you embroider, okay? So her hair is going to be black. Her shirt is going to be gold. The first thing I have like a little um stitch you it stitch around the um it's gonna stitch around the, uh, the design so it can st keep the fabric close st um connected to the stabilizer. I can't think of what it's called, but I know um create uh I cannot talk today. Um practical things gonna probably tell me or dimps. What is that called? It's just a it's a border basically, but it's something they call it is something they call it. So you just basically it's a border you can put around your image right here. You see that, that border to keep the stabilizer and the um fabric together so it won't you know bulk up. Okay, this is a one eater machine, and everybody said why y'all using a one eater machine? Because it's easy. I love it, and I don't mind changing the thread because I'm just used to it. I love it. So the thread is behind there, and I just change it every time I need to use it. The tech down stitch. Thank you, Dimps. Thank you. So my color, I'm using brown for her face. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that in there because it's her. You can see right here the color is say one less than one minute for the tech down stitch, and then the five eleven minutes for her um her skin tone. Then pink is what pink is her shirt. That's seventeen minutes. So I'm gonna use gold, and then blue is for her eyeliner. But I'm gonna still use gold for her eyeliner too, her eyeshadow or whatever it's called. And then that's where we're gonna go from here. So it tells you the minutes of how long it's gonna take to stitch these colors, okay? And every single time it stops after the color is done, so you can change your color, change your thread, okay? But like I said, you can use whatever color you want. This is how many stitches it is right here. This is how many minutes it's gonna take to do it. That's why I said I'm not gonna be here for those 64 minutes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna start this um, patch off, and then we can just talk about whatever y'all wanna talk about, and we can go from there. And this tells you it's nine colors, okay? It's nine colors. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead. Only thing I do, I already threaded the machine. I'll show y'all next time when the thread stops after the um, skin color. I'll show y'all how to thread the um, machine. So back here, mine is just basically you just push this button right here to make the um, needle come down. Press the foot come down, and then you push green. Go. That's all you gotta do. So I'm gonna do the step, um, the, the tack down stitch first. Then I'm gonna start her skin tone, her face. Like I said, I use duck fabric. I get that from um, Hobby Lobby or Michael. No, Hobby Lobby. 
uh, or Joanne fabrics. It's called duck fabric. Really thick. It's much thicker than cotton. Do not use cotton for patches. It's really durable. It's, it's like that material you use for um, like the um, uh, like like tablecloth. It's really, it's, no, it's really, really thick. Really um, sturdy. Okay, now the next one's her skin. It's her, her, um, her face right there. It's gonna show. You go ahead, push that down. Press her foot down and go. Let's see. I'm still learning. She says she has a six needle, a ten needle, a fifteen needle, and a four needle. I haven't had a four needle. What's now your four needle? Yeah, I have one. I got two, one needles, and I got uh, a ten needle and a fifth. Dang, what I got? <laughs> a six needle and a ten needle. I'm scared of 15 needles. That's a lot of needles. <laughs> this is how it looks. Uh, it starts off. I'm going to come back and show y'all. I don't know if this machine is too noisy for y'all. I'm going to come back and show y'all after it's halfway done, okay? But y'all can go ahead and ask me any questions y'all want to ask me. Why we letting that go? About anything. We can talk about um, sublimation, DTF. Embroidery, cricket, whatever y'all want to talk about, we can talk about it. Ask the questions why that machine's running. And then when that when that's 11 minutes is up, then I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. I hope y'all can see it because like I said, my tripod is kind of janky. So I don't know if you're gonna see me um, thread the thread, but if y'all can't see me, I always I'll have all kind of videos and show y'all how to thread the thread of the embroidery machine. It's just like threading the machine is a sewing machine. Hey Linda. So, um, let me show y'all some, I have so many patches that I've done, I'm just going to start doing more patches. I've got some more patches I'm going to be doing for my orders. Like right here, I'm going to show y'all my, um, something I got, I'm going to show you, I'm going to cover up their address. But, um, here's the patches I have to do. I have to do with uh, LeBron James, LeBron James, and then a, uh, Curry. I'm like, who's that? A Curry patch. So, all these three got to get done, um, by... Before the, the, the 10th, I gotta do these three. And then what I'm working on right now is her, her, and then she she got she on her too. She's pretty too. Got the um, birds in her in her in her hair, the afro. That's pretty too. I'm here in my eyes, sorry. So I got these patches to do. I got some work to do, y'all. Got a couple more days to figure it out. So go ahead and ask this. Oh, I got how many people got here? 57 people on here. Thank you for joining me. If y'all can go ahead and like this video. It's a hair in my eye. Um, go ahead and like this video and give it a thumbs up. And go ahead and hit that red bell so you can be notified when I do new videos. I'm going to start doing videos every Sunday around this time. A little bit earlier. I just have some things I had to do today. I had to go to Sam's and all that kind of stuff. So I couldn't really get on earlier today. But usually I try to get on around 3 or 4. Between 3 and 5. So um, today is a little late. It's 7 o'clock here. Probably later where y'all at. So, um... Time just went back today, so not for me for y'all. Some of y'all. See, yeah, my phone is going dead, and I got my phone plugged in, but it's still saying there's low battery, so it might go, it might cut off. I thought it'd still be charging, but some on video is not charging, so it's gonna be a short video, y'all. Let's just come on, let's come and show y'all my face and just say, to tell y'all what's going on, doing my little orders. I can see. Um, so go ahead and ask questions. Y'all go ahead. Can I give a thumbs up? I see 16 likes. I got 56 people in here watching. Some hair in my eyes. Here it is. Sorry. <laughs> I'm waiting for y'all to ask some questions. I'm just sitting here waiting. We're doing a patch right now. If y'all just started joining us. Okay, somebody says, I have a SE600, definitely upgrading. Yes, yes, yes. I had a 602, and it was fun, but it's too small. I wish I wouldn't tell nobody to get a 600, because you can't do much unless you're just doing children's clothes. I have a P800 is good, but only a 5x7, so if you want big, do big, big shirts, you want to get a, um, a one that has 6x9 hoop to start off with, and then she just going ahead and jump on to that, um, that 6 meter. Which I have right here. Let me show y'all real quick. Side with it. Six needle right there. So I do have a six needle. And I have a ten needle also. Okay, what's your question? I'm sorry, I just stopped um, reading your thing. 
doing my research, I see you have the single needle. Will you be upgrading to a multi needle? I have I have two multi needles. I have um five machines all together. But I'm the one I'm gonna make it four. I have four, but I have five. I had one that was really a sewing machine slash embroidery machine. But I, I mean, it broke. It didn't really break. It just, the um, thread had stopped threading. I was like, I ain't got time for that. So I just um, gave it away. So this, I'm going to tell you, this is cutaway stabilizer. It's good to use cutaway stabilizer when you're doing um, patches. And, and like I said, the duck fabric or twil, uh, teal fabric. Or you can use... Um, uh, what's the fabric called? Oh my goodness, what's it called? Felt. You use felt. But I love the, I love the um, duck fabric. Okay, let's see. Hey, picture me crafting. Hey, Tanya. Any other questions, y'all? While we wait on this embroidery machine to stop. Which one, Tanya? She said, how much are the machines? Which one? I have a lot of machines. Which one are you talking about? Oh, the tin needle? Okay, the tin needle is about, depends on which one you get, like 6,000? 6, 6,000? About 6,000? No, 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 it ain't that much. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. That six needle is like, um, about 3,000. Denise said, what is your biggest seller and when, when it comes to embroidery patches? That's all I sell is patches, patches, patches. When I first started doing embroidery, I saw, I can't talk to y'all, my tongue is just all over the place. When I first started embroidery, um, I did a lot of hoodies. I still do a lot, I mean, I probably do some more hoodies now since it's November, it started getting cold. But a lot of hoodies, um, and patches are my biggest sellers, y'all. I do patches like every week, I have at least like 15 patches to do. Hey, baby giant. Um, so yeah, patches are the ones, I get a lot of um, people always buying my Kobe patches, it's the number one seller, and uh, the, the Black Girl Magic patch, patches, a lot of sales for those. Good evening, good evening, any other questions? I have 58 people watching, thank y'all for joining, if y'all not your first time joining, thanks for joining me today, if you're not your first time, thanks for coming back, I appreciate the love. I'm, on, I'm coming on every Sunday around between 3 and 5. Well, between, I'm changing my time all the time, man, y'all. Between, before 7. Anytime on Monday between 3 and 7. I go to church on Sundays and I have to do some shopping today, so I came on a little later. She says, so patches are the thing. I didn't know for real. Yes, patches are the thing. Um, I done made jean jackets with patches on it. Well, I sold some jean jackets too. What else I sell as far as embroidery? Um, got a, um, children's shirts with their names and stuff on their birthday shirts. That's a good seller too. Um, you can put their name on it, get like a little uh, symbol or character on it. That's cool. And I used to sell them the tutu shirts, the tutu um, skirts. Those are the big sellers. Um, yeah. Anything else y'all can ask me about cricket, y'all can ask me about BTF, y'all can ask me about um, embroidery, y'all can ask me about whatever y'all want. I, I got all the machines here. So just let me know what y'all want to talk about and I can tell you I can tell y'all what y'all want to know. Hopefully I can help y'all. What do you use on the back? I use the um let me show y'all because I don't need This is what I use. I use heat and bond. You get a big roll. I got this from Amazon, I think, the big rose from Amazon. It's called Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. I have a video on to show you how to um, basically um, do that too. 
Let me go ahead and show y'all how I cut. Like basically when I cut the um cut it out, I'm doing one right now, it's five by seven, it's still four by four. And basically I turn it on the back side. And as you see, you can see much better on the back because the front is black, and so it's hard to see it. Okay, so I turn on the back and I cut around the edges of the um patch. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all this. I can show y'all. I really can't show y'all, show y'all how to put this on here because I don't want to turn my heat press on it's hot right now. But I can show y'all a little bit of how the ending of the video will be looking. Be looking. I'm ghetto. Um, what would look like if I would finish this video. But today I'm not going to finish the whole pack because it's 54 minutes long. I'm not going to be here that long. I got something to do. So, I have to cut this video short. I just wanted to come over here and do a Q&A. And just start off doing the pack because I got to get it done anyway. It's an order. And I know my, my um, time with y'all is on Sunday. So, I had to come on here and bring y'all something to to watch me do okay so let me show y'all real quick so now you see I cut around it so I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the um to the bird this is how it's supposed to look so isn't that neat how it looks when you on um, the back of this is how the back of the patch looks okay without the um and hit the heat of the heat the heat the glue adhesive is not under there yet it's the front so let me go ahead and clean this up around here I'm trying to show y'all the video so y'all can see it now my, my machine is just about to just stop, so I gotta change the thread after I cut this out real quick. Well, I, could, I could change it now, I'll come back and finish cutting this because I got time to do that. So now it's time for me to do the shirt. The shirt I'm gonna be doing is gonna be gold. I'm sorry, I got this on the tripod. It's kind of long. See all my thread over here? Okay, now you ain't gonna be able to see the thread. It's too far away because I got a table right here. I can't set it right here because it's too close. So what I do is I just basically take the thread from back behind here like this. Let me get out this way. It's kind of hard to see. Y'all can get a get close up. But like I said, but I do have other videos that shows y'all closer of how to put the thread in here. Here's my thread right here. I just, I just set it behind the machine. On this little thread holder so it won't fall over. Loop it, loop it. And just bring it on over. It's, it's numbers on here. It'll tell you how to go. One, two, you go three, you go four, and you go under. It's like a sewing machine. So if y'all know how to sew, if y'all know how to thread a sewing machine, it's the same exact way as the thread of a sewing machine you're doing the embroidery, okay? But if you don't know how to use the sewing machine, then check out my other videos. It'll show y'all step by step how to do it. You can't have long nails with this because you can't really do nothing with long nails. I had tried to do it because cut my nails, y'all. Especially in my new job. I got a tight, so I was like, I had to cut my nails, y'all. It was too much. What's going on? Oh. So loopity, loopity, loopity. I cut the thread. And then it threads up right there. Yeah, I love the threader. Then I just basically push the foot um press the presser foot down. Push go. Y'all gotta go to there. Yep, go. And it's going. Let me show y'all how it looks closer. This is how it looks. We're going to um, we got thread three. We're going to change thread three times already. We got nine, we got nine threads. The color is all of them. Nine colors of thread. This is going to be 17 minutes. Next one is going to be one minute. But this is going to be the same color because I want her shirt and her eyeliner. See that blue right there? Her eyeliner. I want it to be blue, um, gold too. So it's going to be gold. And her shirt is going to be gold. Her hair is not going to be white. Her hair is going to be black. Okay? You can choose whatever color you want. I have 28 minutes left out of 64 minutes. It's the stitching right there. Uh, it's just smooth. It just, just let it go. Just let it go. And just, and come. After this right here, this is the patch right here, right? This is how it looks when it first starts. This is how it looks when it's finished. So I got to cut all this off, though. I got to cut that thread off. You'll see me do that right now. And check out my TikTok page, y'all. Go to TikTok, and I have so many videos on TikTok. I've been really rocking on TikTok lately. So check out my videos. I have like a lot of different crafting little skits that I do on TikTok. My link is below. Hey, 
Hey, Charmaine, everybody. Hey. P.S. St. Louis. I mean, P.M. St. Louis. Is invest what? investment in multi machines a wise for someone just starting? Okay, let me tell y'all what I did. Basically, like I said, I started off with a one of the machine. It was basically um, a, a machine that was an embroidery slash sewing machine. I did that because I did not know if I was going to like embroidery. I never did embroidery before. And, you know, I'm a YouTuber, so I had to get I wanted to get a machine just so I could start off to see how it was. And it was during COVID time, and I didn't have, I mean, I wasn't working because my job was closed. My daycare was closed, so we were still getting paid, of course. Big money, big money. But we were closed, and I was sitting here bored. So I just basically started my YouTube channel during um, COVID because I was bored. I, I, I work all my life, so I needed something to do. So I basically started doing all, getting all these machines and stuff and, and just started my business and started my YouTube channel. I got the first one because I didn't know if I was going to like it because I wanted to learn how to sew. I taught myself how to sew, so I do trainings on sewing too. So I would not advise you to get that small one because it's not much you can do with that small one, especially if you're doing all kids' clothes. So she said, the question, her question was, is it a wise investment to, to buy more than one machine? I, for me it is, if you have a business, you should buy more because, it's up to, I mean, I'm not trying to say what to do. It's up to you if you want to buy more because you have, you have a lot of shirts or a lot of things you got to get done. You want to get them done. You can get a lot of stuff done, but you have more than one machine. I have four of them. So I can let them all run at the same time. Okay? So it could be a good choice. I mean, not, don't go broke buying them. But you know you have a lot of stuff coming in, like a lot of um, a lot of um, orders coming in. I'm just saying a lot of ums. I don't like that. <laughs> if you have uh, a lot of orders, you um gonna need more machines. But or if you wanna just go ahead and do that one machine and take your time and get them done, and just start your order. Don't procrastinate like me. I procrastinate to the last minute and do everything at the last minute, and I gotta do do it quicker so I get it out by the due date. But if you don't do that, you can. Get one machine and just go ahead and do it the way you want it. And just take your time and get it done quick, you know, even quicker. But I love everybody gonna say, are you gonna sell your machines? Because you got this six needle, you got you got a six needle, you got a uh, ten needle. You gonna sell your one needle machines? No. I love my one needle machines. They are so easy to work with. Cause like I said, I've seen some on my videos. It's kind of scary messing with them big machines because they got all these needles in here. You got to worry about the thread breaking. You got to worry about the needle breaking. You got to worry about stuff getting caught up and the thread I'm going through right. Uh, I'm not trying to discourage nobody about it because it's a good machine because they come with big hoops. You can be able to do a lot of things with it, but it's just so it's so, it's so, it's so scary to me. I'm a scary cat, y'all. I'm, I'm scared for everything. I'm scared. I'm scared of driving. I'm scared of everything. So don't mind me. Um, if you have like bad like, arthritis in your hand or carpet turner in your hand, it's going to be hard to Use the work with those big machines because you really got to thread it. Them things is like, and you got to be able to see too. Like you got to have a glass on when I do that because it's hard. I'm not trying to discourage nobody because it's a good money maker, and um, and, it, and it's faster than having a one a one needle machine. Um, yeah. So my advice for that question is yes, you can get it's, it's, it is um to have more than one machine because you, you can do a lot more work and a lot of time consuming you get your time your stuff done at a good time i'm just trying to pick right here you see how this thread is between her eyes this i use this other machine the, the pe 800 did not cut the stitch but this other machine i'm using right now it does cut the stitch on me so i got to get this out of here i'm going to get some scissors and cut those between her eyes it's not supposed to be there it's like it just like stitches and it's just the way